Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. As you can see, I broke one of these uh, GU10 LEDs apart, and that's because um, I got these from the place where I work, and we've got tens of these uh, installed and running for about four years now, and these seem to die uh, all of a sudden. And first they start uh, flickering, then they then they start dimming over next few days, and then they just die. And when I plug this in right now, of course it's not lighting, but it, it does get warm. So my guess is that the power supply, which I broke <laughs> over here, is still uh, working, but the LED died inside. So these are um, these are were not very cheap. These were actually pretty expensive. They're four years old right now, and they're dimmable uh, LEDs um, running at 29 milliamps at 240 volt, of course, made in China. Um, they give a fair amount of light. It's nice, warm light. Um, yeah, but they just die after four years. And they're probably running nine hours a day. So let's get the calculator. And uh, let's see. Uh, running for uh, four years right now. Uh, nine hours a day. So nine hours um, times the average working days in one year. So probably 222. Uh, so they're running about 2,000 hours per year, and they're approximately four years old right now. So they've been running 8,000 hours. I think an LED can do better than that. Um, so first of all, let's see. Uh, this is the top housing. It's all, it's all made of plastic. The, the, so the LED uh, is in a, a aluminium housing, but it's surrounded by plastic, so that does isolate the heat uh, pretty much. So, But one thing I noticed, I hope I get that on camera. Come on, you can do it. I think we can see it, or else I get my microscope. But there is a crack in the middle of the LED. And this is all the, the, the rubbery-ish. Oh, there we go. There you can see it. Um, part but it cracked and I believe that's just because it, it overheated uh, this aluminium was not able to dissipate the heat uh, anywhere else uh, outside of its casing so my guess it, it is overheated and by the look of this printed circuit board it's all brown of course the tiny transformer was over here uh, and it's all broken like this because I had to use a fair amount of force to get it out. And this capacitor was over here. So that's <laughs> how it looked. Um, so yeah, the capacitors were all spaced out of the, of the circuit board. But as you can see, the circuit board is all brownish. And doesn't, you know, of course it doesn't look very good anymore, but... My guess is, is that it's overheated. It, it just wasn't able to lose the, the heat of the power supply and the LED. Um, yeah, I'm not going to open this one, of course, uh, because it's glued in, as you can see. The plastic, I, I had to break it off. And of course, the, I can't get the LED running. There was actually a printed marking on here saying 100 volts. I guess it's 100 volts, so I tried. Uh, starting at 3 volts and then gently bringing it up to 100 and volt, but it did nothing. It did, did not do nothing, of course. So I'll leave this intact and just throw it away. But that's inside of one of these Philips GU10 LED lights. So that's it. <laughs> I can't fix it, it's just broken. Thanks for watching.